Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So, I'd like to, for you guys to comment. I'm thinking about getting a little bit back into programming. I mean, not programming any DeFi apps or anything, but no, getting some basics back in. I know how to program. I did a lot of PHP and C++ before and some Java, but I've rounded it down to three languages that I kind of want to look at. And I've only, I'm only going to choose one of the three because I just don't really have time to you know, commit to be a full-on programmer. So it's either going to be Haskell, Solidity, or Rust. Now, I'm leaning towards Haskell, which also happens to be like the most useless of the three languages outside of programming for Cardano, because I'm unaware of anything else that uses Haskell aside from Cardano. The reason I want Haskell is basically for Cardano. It's a functionally based language. And me, on a personal preference, I prefer functional based languages over object oriented ones, which is why I'm leaning towards Rust and also for myself, I'm already in the Cardano ecosystem with MinSwap. And so like, I would rather just learn Haskell just to try to develop some things on Cardano since I'm already using the Cardano ecosystem. I am not using the Solana ecosystem, the Polkadot ecosystem, or the Ethereum ecosystem, which obviously like, you know, I would be if I was uh, programming Solidity or Rust. But like Solidity and Rust, um, they are more useful industry-wide. I don't really know why Charles Hodgson chose Haskell. I don't really buy his whole security argument, obviously. Um, I think he just kind of like chose it on a whim because of the reputation. And I don't know if Hodgson himself is much of a developer at all, because I know he's not really the one that uh, develops Cardano. I think it's like Dimitri and some other guys that actually develop Cardano. And, you know, Cardano does have Haskell, so it's actually ready to scale. So... I would actually like to write some, like, maybe start with, like, a Hello World program, maybe a couple of calculators or something on actual the actual uh, Haskell um, and Cardano platform. But, you know, like, learning Solidity and Rust is a lot more useful for other blockchain premises, and I do actually think more blockchain projects will actually use Solidity and Haskell. So, I mean, Solidity and Rust. So I don't know which one you guys are thinking of learning. Uh, programming's not that hard. Once you learn one language, the basics of one language, all languages work the same. Python's slightly different um, because of that Lambda function. And I don't really want to pick up Python again. I, I never really enjoyed programming in Python, even though a lot of programmers do. I preferred Java and C I preferred C++. That was always kind of my favorite. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to... Um, Take the dive and maybe like, you know, spend a little bit of time this winter looking at a bit a bit of Haskell and seeing maybe how to develop on the Cardano ecosystem. Assuming it, the resources required to develop in Haskell don't overload my um, don't overload my laptop. So, yeah, um, let me know if you think I should learn Solidity and Rust instead. Uh, I am leaning towards Haskell because of Cardano. Um, but you know, like Polkadot, Solana, I'm not going to develop on Solana, but Polkadot actually does use Rust. Ethereum obviously uses Solidity. I don't have too much of a um, interest in developing on Ethereum because of the gas fees that eventually go up, but we'll see what happens then. So let me know, uh, which programming language you would actually prefer both for you programmers and non-programmers. I'll probably, I might do some programming streams if I actually, uh, uptake this project and, uh, maybe we'll make a, a couple of apps on uh, Cardano on stream or in a video. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.